Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox, on what is, I've got to say, for the first time in days, a very, very nice day. I don't suppose it'll last, but at the moment the sun is beating down and it's actually quite warm. Makes a change, doesn't it? Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to ask that you check you're still subscribed. Got up this morning, loads of people, boom, gone. They've wiped out loads. And when you go back and look at the videos, there's no one unsubscribing from the videos. Indeed, people are subscribing to the videos and yet the total's going down. This is undoubtedly YouTube unsubscribing people without their consent. So go and double check you're still subscribed. And if you're yet to subscribe, hit the button, press the bell and carry on and join us on this journey of immense importance as we root out all the lies and hypocrisy in politics. And I think you're going to like this video because it goes to show what a true and utter failure is is basically descending upon the Conservative Party. The numbers uh, within a poll that's been taken must make Rishi Sunak a very, very worried man. Well, he's not that worried. I mean, he's a non-taxpaying billionaire with a green card. He's about to sod off to America. Nice job in California somewhere, perhaps. Somewhere sunny. He's working his tan. And he will not give one flying monkey about the rest of us. After all, he's known hardship, you know. He once went several days without Sky TV. Um, I've never known such levels of poverty. And um, anyway, he's going to leave. He doesn't care. But it's what's happening to the party around him that he personally is responsible for. Because let's make no bones about it. He was the man who knifed Boris in the back who attempted to become leader, who the Tory party rank and file members, normal people, normal people up and down the country, said, no, we don't trust you, we don't like you, we don't think you're good. And they voted for Liz Truss. And of course, the powers that be don't like Liz Truss, so they manufactured grievances, got her out and imposed Rishi Sunak without the will of the party members, but onto not just the party, but onto the whole of Britain, Unelected, unwanted and unloved. And now it's come back to haunt him. Because there's been a poll in London's uh, Evening Standard, or the Standard as they call it now. It's always, always known as the Evening Standard. Not lived there. Um, and it is saying that a quarter of voters think the Conservatives deserve to win no seats whatsoever. Now you might think that's hardly surprising. It's because I just lied to you, because it is surprising, because what I failed to do is I, I've lied by omission, because I've just said a quarter of voters. What I meant to say is a quarter of conservative voters thinks the party deserves to win no seats whatsoever. Let that sink in. Tory supporters, people who voted Tory at the 2019 election, a quarter of them think the party deserves no seats whatsoever. Isn't that absolutely mind-blowing? I'm just going to go through this piece because there's some numbers and we'll have a look at the numbers. But it's saying here that... Uh, Nearly half of all voters, now this is not just Tory voters, this is all voters in Britain, half of them think the Tories deserve to be totally wiped out over what they've done, according to this public first survey on behalf of the uh, the Standard. Uh, but a quarter of the people who voted Conservative at the last election believe the party deserves to lose all its seats, and a new poll has found this. Nearly half of all voters think the Tories will be totally wiped out, as mentioned. Uh, the pollster who called Public First, uh, has quizzed 2,011 people. Now, that's uh, that, that's double normal polling. Normal polling is about 1,000 people, which seems to be uh, an accurate kind of number. Obviously, the more you poll, the more accurate it gets. But funnily enough, the, the increase in accuracy, the rate at which the accuracy increases, decreases. There is a tipping point where it becomes pointless asking any more. Uh, it's one of the, uh, one of the, one of the stats the weird stats of statistics. It's um, the law of diminishing returns and all that because you're, um, what is it? It's the standard deviation shrinks as you ask more people. But I'm not going to get into the maths of that. 
Uh, but po the poster quiz, 2011 Brits between the 7th and 9th of June. So very recent. This is after all the debacle, after Rishi uh, runs away from um, the beaches and all that. And they asked them what they expect and hope will happen when voters go to the polls on the 4th of July. It is our Independence Day, both in terms of um, getting rid of Rishi Sunak and also getting rid of the SNP with any luck. You know what to do, guys. Anyway, 46% of those polled believe the Tories deserve to lose every seat they have, with only 35% disagreeing. But I suppose, and it doesn't say here, but I suppose those disagreeing say, OK, they don't deserve to lose all their seats. But a lot of those 35% will say they deserve to lose a lot of them. Uh, when asked what the ideal number of seats they would like to see the Tories win, 24%, almost a quarter of people polled, wrote zero. And a second poll by, Ip by Ipsos Mori uh, has revealed four in ten vote. I think Labour's policies will make a positive difference to the country. I didn't realise there were so many dim people about. Labour have never, and I'm going to say this, ever, never, ever left government with Britain being in a wealthier position than when they came to government. Never. Every single time you've had a Labour government, They've always left the country poorer. But the trouble is, there's such a gap between Labour governments, uh, subsequent Labour governments, that young people have never known it and they forget. I mean, who was the foot the end of footballer? Raheem Sterling, was it? I think it might, correct me if I'm wrong, going, oh, when I was growing up, we had, uh, well, you know, we, 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 could, we were hungry, we were starving. Oh, and that's why he does so much money for food banks and things. But what people don't realise is that Raheem Sterling grew up under Blair. He grew up all over the entire, his entire childhood was under a Labour government. So he can't blame anyone for that one except Labour. But anyway, uh, the survey was published hours before the Labour Party will launch its manifesto in Manchester today. Uh, the poll surveyed, um, a, this is the Ipsos poll, surveyed 1,050 British adults between May the 7th and 10th before parties had revealed their manifestos. And just 20% of people said they thought the Conservative policies would make a positive difference 45% thought the Tories' plan would have a negative effect. Now, don't get me wrong, all parties are useless. And I don't care what Rishi Sunak says in his manifesto, this, that and the other. They've had 14 years to get shit sorted, and they haven't. So they can't be trusted either. But I certainly don't think Labour are an improvement. None of them are an improvement. The reason is, it doesn't matter who you vote for. None of them have got the balls needed to sort out the problems. And boy, there's a lot of problems. And until you vote someone in that's got the ability to say, actually, I'll tell you what, this is bollocks. We need to sort it. And I don't care what anyone says. And even if it costs me at the next election, I'm going to sort this problem out. And if they can sort it out and show that it's been sorted and show that it's actually worked, they're likely to get in next time as well, aren't they? Imagine if someone came in and says, right, that's it. No more immigration at all. Legal, illegal, nothing. There is no more immigration. It goes down. We're going to put the... Royal Navy patrolling up and down the uh, the uh, the channel. They're going to push back every single boat. If the French send their boats out to push these boats into British territory, we'll call that an act of war. And we'll all fire initially a shot across their bows. If they do it again, we will sink a French ship. And just put that up there. And let's leave it at that. And when the French go, oh, we are closing the channel. You know, no English coming in. Say, fine, fine, no matter. Because you can go in through Holland. And we, we have a little deal with Holland. And if anyone in Europe puts on any kind of tariff on our products, we say, that's fine. You put any tariff on any product from Britain, we put the same tariff on every product from EU. And you have to remember that BMW's biggest single market is Britain. And when BMW cars are costing twice as much in Britain, you can guarantee the chairman of BMW will be on the phone and saying, get this shit sorted. It just takes balls. No balls. This is the problem. No balls. We need people to stand up with a backbone. But none of them have. Because they're all concerned. Oh, I've only ever been an MP. I've only ever been a politician. I've never had experience in the real world. If I lose my seat, I'm never going to work again. Get people in. Vote people in who are going to stand there for one term. One election, one term. 
and say, we don't care. We're going to lose our seats. We don't care. We're going to sort these problems out. And if you vote us out at the end, that's fine. But you're voting us out with all those problems solved. Bada bing. That's the way to do it. Anyway, I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video and I'll speak to you later. Bye.